Okay, so hi and welcome for those of you watching the replay. So welcome to the first episode of what I'm calling the lockdown sessions because um, basically for a lot of us that is what is happening. Um, we're at home, we're isolated, um, we're away from our friends and our family and yeah, it's just um, very intense and what is um, so interesting to me is that you know just with technology there's been so many incredible um, initiatives that I have been able to lean into um, over the past week where people have been holding space for me and other pers uh, other people um, and it's something that I'm wanting to pay forward okay so in case you don't know me um, my name is Kathleen Sylvia Salens and I'm the space holder at the House of Unfurling, which is a website with uh, resources and writings and practices and tools and coaching for women who feel drawn to the deep feminine path, which is a path of intuition and really showing up for yourself and for your life and your calling. Um, so one of the things that I've really been wanting to do is to uh, hold space for us to, to just be together, even though we're all kind of isolated in our own homes, just, you know, be together and move through some very brief practices together. Because, um, you know, this is one of the things that I've noticed for myself. I have so many tools and practices, and at the same time, um, I just really yearn for that sense of doing this together and not doing this just all by myself. And I've noticed that um, things move quick, more quickly for me and flow more easily for me when I'm um, doing practices with other people. So my idea is to do a couple of episodes of this uh, over the next, well, this week and next week. Um, and so I've got a list of practices that I've got lined up for us um, that I'm so excited about to share with you. And today's uh, practice is all about self-soothing through breath. Now, um, I know that for many of us, a breath practice is something that we have in our toolbox. And at the same time, um, I've at times find it, found it really difficult to access breath in this period of lockdown. Um, so that is one of the reasons why I want to start us with just breathing uh, as a first of these lockdown sessions. So if you're coming on live, please say hi, please share your name, um, tell me where you're tuning in from, because uh, I really want this to be something that we move through together and not just, you know, me seeing some numbers of live viewers. Um, I want to be able to say hi to you and to know where you're from. And if you're willing to also use this as an opportunity to share what is happening for you in your life right now, how you've been experiencing these past weeks um also if you're watching this on replay feel free to just comment um i'll be coming back to the comments later on and just really um tuning into you know where you are how you've been feeling through this period of time how this has been affecting you um, I'm really just so interested to know. I really want to be here and hold space for you. Um, and, you know, again, for myself, I found it so helpful to just be able to connect with people on the other side of the world and just briefly share what has been happening and how things have been feeling because, you know, sometimes we keep things kind of locked in our bodies um, and just a brief act of sharing something in a comment box on someone's video or post can just be so incredibly soothing. Okay, so use this opportunity. I'm here for you. I'm absolutely going to read all of your comments and I'm so, so excited just to be connecting and moving through these practices together with you. So what we're going to be doing today is, um, like I said, breathing. Now, a couple of things about our breath. Um, so first of all, we tend to we tend to live a lot of our 
body bodily responses to things that happen in our lives um, we tend to live that very much through our breath and what our breath is often one of the first things that is affected when we ourselves are affected so even if something if we notice something in our lives and so maybe with what is going on with the virus uh, maybe you hear something about someone that you know or you're reading something on the internet and it's really like affecting you quite deeply what can happen is that consciously we feel okay and we feel like we're we're dealing with stuff in in a in a way that feels quite resilient but at the same time unconsciously um it might really affect us more deeply than we think and our breath is one of the first things that is affected so i want you to really work with me here for just a couple of minutes and to tune into your breath at the moment so what I would like us to do is take like three breaths together, but the first one I'm just going to walk you through it so you can uh, start to pay attention to what is happening. So I also want to invite you to keep this very natural. You know, this is not about trying to force your breath to do something. Um, it's really just flowing with your nat natural breath and just bringing more awareness to it, okay? So that's all you're doing. This is a very gentle invitation to simply be aware of what is happening as you breathe in and as you breathe out. And we're going to bring more awareness to our breath and then we're going to start working with that more intentionally. So um, let's start by breathing in. So as you breathe in, which I'm inviting you to do now, so breathe in. And as you breathe in, I would like you to really start to feel into where things might be feeling tense or um, like they're kind of in lockdown, like your body is, is tense and in lockdown. Um, so for me, when I do this, what I notice is that actually, first of all, I have tension here, which I feel when I breathe in, like when I breathe in, I feel like this is not as soft and open and relaxed as it usually is. I also notice that I'm holding quite a lot of tension in my body because I can feel it here in my temples. And then when I breathe in, what I also notice is that as my breath travels downward, there's a whole section like this where things feel really constricted. Like I can, I can feel that my breath is not flowing as naturally and relaxed and open as it normally is. So like what I've noticed last week um, is I was doing some of my practices, I was doing movement, I was doing journaling, I was meditating, uh, I was doing my mantras. And at the same time, I started to realize throughout the day that actually I had this very, very tense feeling, this constricted feeling almost constantly in my, in my breathing. So this whole area and it's not, uh, symptomatic so it's not a symptom of the virus it is not my body being ill or starting to get ill it is quite simply that my breath at the moment is like really constricted my body is tense it carries quite a bit of tenseness and so that is what I mean when I say that very often our breath is um, one of the first things that is affected when we ourselves get affected by what is happening in the world or in our personal lives. And our, what, using our breath is an incredible tool. It's such a powerful gateway, such an easy tool. We can access it any minute because every minute we're just breathing constantly. But then when you start to bring your awareness to it, you can actually use it as a tool to start to bring soothing to our bodies, to start to work with our bodies, to release the tension and come back into a space that feels more relaxed, more grounded, more centered, more open, and where we have just released a lot of the tension and anxiety that we're carrying in our bodies. So that is what I'm inviting us to do right now, is <clears throat> to really just get comfortable 
and start to breathe. Now, I also want to invite you, um, you know, sometimes when we start to do some breathing, um, we actually might unlock more discomfort at first in our body. So I want to invite you to take radical responsibility for yourself at this moment. And, and as we move through this practice together, take radical responsibility, um, really pay incredible, exquisite attention to what is happening in your body and what your body needs. So if you start to feel dizzy, maybe just take a moment to ground and center again. Um, <clears throat> I'm not going to go into detail about this here, but sometimes when we start to breathe, we can actually start to feel dizzy. And if you're interested in learning more about that, I um, I have a video on YouTube that I posted like, I think last week, where I walk you through a much more detailed practice for self-soothing and I'm going to post the link to that in my profile bio later today uh, and in my stories as well. So if you have more time today to do a practice, um, it's a 40 minute walkthrough of a practice which you can then use throughout your day whenever you have time, like if you have five minutes that's going to work for you, if you have two minutes it's going to work for you. Um, but that explains a bit more about how our breath and our body can be affected when we start to breathe more consciously and more deeply again at first. So pay really exquisite attention to your body right now and what it needs and how it is responding to what we're doing. Um, and also another thing that might happen for you is you, if, if you start to breathe more deeply again is that your body wants to move. This is one of the ways that my body usually works with breath is it starts to move and that is one of the ways that I release a lot of my tension so when you feel like you want to move in a certain way just do that just allow that don't try and control it um, just allow your body to move with your breath okay so let's do three breathing rounds together so get comfortable Move your body until you feel like you're really sitting, really comfortable and nicely. <sighs> okay, so we're going to breathe in very gradually in a very beautiful, soft and flowing rhythm. And so that is going to be our first breath and I'm going to walk you through it, our first breath, okay? So breathing, breathing in. And now really allow yourself, as you start to breathe out, to feel where there's any tension held. Maybe in your jaw, in your shoulders, in your neck, in your back. Maybe it's going to be here in your chest and you're going to feel like I described, that there's tenseness and a sense of being constricted in this area or in your chest area. <clears throat> So with our next breath, what we're going to do is I'm inviting you to bring more awareness to where your breath goes in your body and then to use that breath to um, just ease things up, loosen things up, soften things up, okay? So again, breathing in. So you may need to play with this a bit more before you can really start to feel what it feels like when you soften, when you use your breath to soften. But to me, what it feels like is I breathe in and then at the same time, I'm really being aware of the tension and I'm allowing my breath as I breathe in to kind of travel into the space, these spaces in my body and to help them open up and soften. It's like I'm breathing into the spaces in my body and then they will naturally start to soften and open and relax. And then when we breathe out, it's just the same thing. Breathing out is such a natural process. You don't have to think about it, but actually as you bring, breathe out with awareness, again, you're allowing the tension to flow out, okay? You're using your breath to just see where you can soften more, where you can relax more, okay? So we're going to do that one more time. So breathing in. OK, 
Okay, putting your hand on your heart because that really helps soften things even more. And so one of the things that I notice when I do this is after three, four, four times of breathing is that I can feel my breath when I exhale. I can feel how it is starting to come from deeper down into my body. So this is really what I'm inviting you to do a couple of times today. You know, maybe when you're cooking dinner or when you're sitting down with a cup of tea or when you going outside um, and uh, just getting a breath of fresh air or when you're sitting down to do work if you're working from home right now or when you're opening the freezer and checking to see what you're going to be preparing for dinner you know just your regular daily activities um, every every time that you do these is an opportunity for you to to breathe with awareness and to check do a check do a check-in how am I feeling right now can I sense tension is there is there tension somewhere in my body does my body want to move a certain way right now and how can I use my breath to maybe bring a bit more softening and to help my body feel more soothed and let go of some of the anxiety and attention that I that I'm holding within my body right now okay so that is my invitation for you today really play with this um if if, if this is new to you if you've never used breath in this work in this way before um do also let me know in the comments how this works for you if there's any questions that you have I'm absolutely more than happy to come in and uh, answer those questions for you so I'll be live again um, Wednesday, you know, if nothing changes in our agendas, I'll be live again on Wednesday at the exact same time and we're going to do a practice where we're really going to work with all of the grief and anxiety and anger, all of the really intense emotions that we are feeling right now. We're going to be working with them and really helping them just be acknowledged and release them from our bodies, okay? Sometimes, I know that sometimes we feel like we need to feel everything and we need to just carry it with us in order to show our connectedness and our, the way that we care about other people. Sometimes, especially if you're highly sensitive or empathic, this is one of the things that we do. We, we tend to want to carry things within us and keep things within us uh, as a sign of this is what I'm doing to help everyone and to show that I care. I feel this anxiety and, and grief and this intensity with everyone else. But actually for your body, it's much more healthy if you can um, acknowledge what you're feeling and then letting things go. Um, and that doesn't mean that you're not caring, it just means that you're taking care of yourself and giving yourself what you need also to strengthen your own immune system and resilience, okay? So I'm going to talk more about that on Wednesday and we're going to do a lovely little practice, um, you know, just to help you move through some of these feelings, right? So again, like I said, I'm here for you. Um, any comments that you want to leave on this video are more than welcome. I really want to learn about what has been going on for you. Um, and also, if you want to send me a private message on Instagram, you're more than welcome to do that. I'm absolutely checking in with my messages um, a couple of times throughout the day, okay? So much love from me to you and speak again soon. Bye.